How to use Canva with Printify. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can use Canva designs on Printify, whether or not you can legally do this and some other tools that can help you in creating these designs. So without wasting any time, let's jump right in. First off, let's take a look at Canva's licensing agreement. So if you're looking to use any of Canva's images, vectors, or any item present on Canva onto your Printify designs that you intend to sell, there are a few terms that you have to make sure that you are meeting. First off, you can't directly just take one thing and then paste it on any of your Printify items. You need to involve some level of customization and if you're customizing those designs, then you're able to use them on Canva. So if you're using any logos, you have to ensure that you're not just taking everything and just keeping it all the same. It needs to involve some level of uniqueness that you are providing to that pre-existing design on Canva. So that is how you ensure that your designs are not flagged. Now let's get started with designing. Now, one thing that I always recommend is that go into your Printify catalog and take the primary item you want to design. Usually this is going to be a larger sized item. And then once you design for that, you can just resize the same thing and then paste it on other items. This just allows you the availability to ensure that you have a high quality design that you're able to resize and repurpose. Because if you end up designing, let's say, a phone case, and you really like that and you want to convert it into a t-shirt design, you're going to have to do it from scratch because a t-shirt design is definitely going to be a whole lot larger than a phone case, and you can't have a image quality below a certain resolution on Printify. Because if you do, then the pixels don't look nice and your design does not look very professional. So go ahead and pick out your main ticket item. For me, let's say it's a t-shirt. There are multiple variants, providers, suppliers, materials. You can go through that all on your own, but pick out the one that you like the most. Once you pick that out, you're going to see the overall information and if you're satisfied with everything that is provided, you're gonna click on start designing. Then you're going to see on the right side, you have a print area size. This is what you're looking for. So for this, this is 4,500 by 5,100 pixels. Open up Canva and then click on custom size on the top right. Then you're going to input these dimensions and then you're going to have a blank canvas. From here, you can get started with designing. You can even go ahead and search for t-shirt design like this and you can see there are a bunch of different designs available. You can take inspiration from some of these designs or you can create your own as well. So I am going to be creating something fun. So first I'm going to search for a rainbow and I am going to go on ahead, click on graphics over here. There are quite a few different graphics and I think I like this one over here. And I'm going to place this at the bottom of my design like so. And I'm just going to expand the size as well, like so. And I want to include a quotation at the center. So I'm going to take this design and I'm going to look for something similar as well. I'm going to keep on scrolling because I do like this rainbow, but I want something a bit unique if I'm able to find that as well. Yeah, I think I like this one a bit better. Again, it's the same type of illustration. It looks like a painted illustration, but I think it's gonna look better with a quotation. I'm going to place this at the center of my page and I'm going to expand it. So it looks like it's going from one corner or one edge to the next. And I'm also gonna rotate this a little, or I think it looks fine like so. I'm going to place this over here. And once I've placed it, I can go ahead, go back into elements, and I'm going to search for clouds. So I'm gonna search for cloud over here, and again, I'm gonna go into graphics, and I'm going to take some illustrations of clouds over here. In the background, I want to click on the background color, 
because I want to add a color to this particular background because I think it would look nice with a blue background that's going to make our illustration or design look more interesting. So I can click on layer and click on show all layers then go into the background layer and go ahead open up the color wheel from here and you can pick out a blue color so you can pick out the shade that you prefer I think I want to go with something that's really pastel and muted at the same time so I'm going to go with a bit more of a lavender-esque color and once I've chosen that I think white clouds are just going to look a bit better on that so I'm going to go ahead and keep on looking for some cloud illustrations I think this is going to look pretty cute for our overall illustration and I'm just going to click on layers and show all layers and we have two of these rainbows I am not sure why so I'm going to delete one of these and yeah now I can go ahead and select this which again I am going to be deleting and we're going to go back into elements and into our clouds and we can start choosing different illustrations if you have Canva Pro, you definitely are going to have a lot more options, but even on the free version of Canva, you have so many different options that it can be difficult to pick out what you really want. So I'm going to be using this illustration because it matches the theme that we're going for. So I'm just going to take a couple of these cloud illustrations from here, like so. And I'm just going to resize these and place these all around into the background. And I'll click on layer, send these to the back. And I'm going to click on layer and then send it to the back like so. Then I'm just going to search for grass and flowers. And I'm just going to be using some tiny illustrations like these where it's super nice and interesting. So I can just place these all around over here and I'm just going to copy them all together to build some density so it looks nice and filled out and once I've done that I can go into text and add my heading or my quotation so let's say I want to just write summer and then we can stylize this a bit so I'm going to go into the font color on the top right and I'm going to use a shocking dark pink like this expand my text over here and once I'm satisfied with the overall effect I can click on share click on download and then we can download this as a PNG now if you want to remove the background you can do this for free using canva or if you want you can also use a illustration like this with canva so if you are using Canva Pro, then it's going to be easier for you to do this because with Canva Pro, you are able to do a download with a removal of background. But if you don't, just click on download, go back into Printify and then go into my uploads then click on my device and then upload your t-shirt design. I have this previously created design as well. And you can upload that over here and then add that to your Printify design. You're going to find that the overall quality is going to be pretty good considering you made it on the exact size or dimensions that are provided with Printify. So this is a design that I created in the past and it was the exact resolution. So it's going to fit perfectly into the printable area. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you're now able to use Canva and Printify together. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.